I had this thought the other day and I've kind of it's floated through my head a couple of times. And just because you brought up the subject of like beauty and all of that stuff, I feel like um, sometimes and not, I'm not obviously speaking from like personal experience. So I just want to make sure that people recognize that, but I feel that beauty can be a curse in a way because when so much of your value is placed on the way that you look, especially from a young age. Now I was, and I am no like great beauty. Um, I don't believe like, I, I know I'm cute. You're like, a beautiful fine. woman though. Objectively. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And as you are as well, but I am not a runway model. I am not somebody right, who not makes of us are being jobs. begged to walk Paris fashion week. Right, right, know? right. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And I think that especially, you know, I grew up a very ugly duckling. Um, and I think especially women who grow up very beautiful and, you know, become very beautiful. I just feel like there's a real disadvantage to that because like I said, so much value is being placed on this very transient quality that will leave you eventually. Yeah. And if you don't develop other qualities, you will spend so much time, money, effort to hold on to, to grasp onto something that can never it's, possess it's eternally. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's it, no matter what you do. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I've always felt actually, cause sometimes, you know, like I always, I think like most women, I always look in the mirror and wish I had this. I wish I was this. I wish this was different. You know, like there's a million things yeah. about myself I'd love to improve. But then I try to remind myself that I am lucky to not be this like earth shatteringly gorgeous creature who men can't stop staring at because that I just feel like it's who would like, like you for you then? Yeah, how exactly. You no, know if your partner, like, how long would it take? Yeah. You no, know, I wonder. Yeah. Yeah. So, so when I when I get in those states of mind, I try and you know, and I look at these other women who are like that. Or you know, sometimes I look at women like some girls that I shoot, and I'm like, what is it like to be that beautiful? Like, what is it like to walk through life looking like you do? Like and then I think to myself, I'm like, it probably sucks in a way. You know, it's probably not being the prettiest has probably made me a better performer too. And it's given me more time to learn the business because I wasn't an instant success by any stretch. I've always done fine. I've always been comfortable, mm -hmm. but I didn't skyrocket. Like there are girls that have been in a year that are at my level. Do you know what I mean? I didn't mm -hmm. skyrocket up here like some people did. And I think that- I mean, I think a great example is like, like, and obviously not to be disparaging towards it, but like Lana Rhodes came in and that girl was like, skyrocket like, and it was like Whoa. yeah to the top of the top of the a-list in like mm. you know months if not a year yeah but I think I was able to be unseen get to know the industry get to know the people get to build my brand without anyone hating or jealousy or whatever mm. get to know people be friends with people you know build my name no one's even looking at me yet I'm I'm a terrible performer I'm getting better I'm getting better you know so by the time they're like Hey, who's that? Like, I got my shit together. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you had that time where you didn't have such a, um, you know, incredibly, uh, what's the word critical eye on you and right. you had like some time to kind of yeah, learn and gain your skill. Like yeah. not, you know, your, your first, uh, what was it? Easy writer shoot <laughs> was not, <laughs> But like was not the cover of Penthouse or some, you know, where you look back and you're like, oh, fuck. To be <laughs> fair, though, that picture is fabulous in just the, I mean, look, it, it's not your fault. You don't, there's nothing wrong with the way you look. But the I outfit is just my amazing. Like, not that my faces are the best now. It's my hardest thing to do. But like, like the faces I used to make, oh, it's all so good. It's all so good. Oh my good. God, that's so good. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss a single episode and go check out all the other videos. I film every single one of my podcasts. And if you want to listen to the audio version, I'm on iTunes and all the other podcast platforms. Visit hollyrandallunfiltered.com to find out more.